Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I think this will be a brief follow-up video uh, to the video I made a few days ago that was titled uh, uh, Egotism, Judgmentalism, and Dogmatism. So I'll attach the link to that video in the description section on this video. But I, I thought of a few other things that I wanted to add to this whole line of thinking. Uh, this video, I think I will title it Nitpickers, Fault Finders, Nat Strainers. I am, I've been very disappointed in my experience on YouTube in that uh, I've encountered so many people that just want to nitpick. They, they, they will um, uh, like put every word, every phrase, every term that is expressed by me or someone else and put it under the microscope and just like try to find any fault in it. They're, they're nitpicking, they're, they're looking for fault. And uh, as Jesus said, they, he said they follow the letter of the law, but they don't understand the heart of the law. They're being so picky that they don't really get it, that they, what is being said is either not in disagreement with biblical Christianity, or it's a topic that we should be able to say, okay, even though I don't agree with what they're saying, uh, you know, I can tolerate their opinion on that because it's not, it's not one of the most important essential doctrines that's being discussed. It's, uh, it's intolerance. It's, and it's, it, I don't understand how some people can be so hard on other believers. Now, I'm all for people uh, having discernment, listening to the, the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know, when, when I hear somebody say something or they write something and, and uh, I get this, these red flags go up and I'm alarms going off, I'm saying, that's wrong. That's, I don't, what are they, why are they saying that? That's absolutely wrong. Or what exactly did they say? I'm, did I understand them correctly? I need to look into this further because it didn't sound right. So, yes, let's have discernment and let, let, let's scrutinize. But, but why do we have to be so hard on each other that we're just really, it, it's, it's going to such an extreme that it really is nitpicking. I, I, I'll give you an example. There's a, 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 a Bible teacher, and I guess he's, uh, he's had a church. I don't think he has a church now. I think he's moved on from being a pastor to other type of ministry. Uh, but he, he does have a YouTube channel, and someone asked me to look at his channel. This, this brother is named Steve McVeigh. Now, when I first I heard the first Steve McVeigh video. I was real happy because his message was really excellent in re regarding uh, supporting a position that I was just made a video about. So I was recommended his video because he did such a very good job of expounding on, on the position I had taken. And when I mentioned his name and recommended him, uh, I, uh, I had some, some brothers uh, warn me that, wait a second, do you know who you're recommending here? Do you know who this person is? Has, uh, I, I, and, and then a list of accusations were filed against him, charged, charged with all kinds of, you know, heretical ideas. Um, and then another brother, uh, told me that, well, no, wait a second, Luke, don't, don't listen to them because I'm, I'm actually quite familiar with Stephen McVeigh. And I found that he's really excellent, free grace believer and teacher. I don't agree with every single thing he says, but then 
none of us really agree 100% with, with each other on anything. Isn't that true? So, but uh, this other brother really recommended Stephen McVeigh and, and urged me to give him a fair chance and watch more of his videos and told me that he had a video series called 101 Lies Told in Church Every Sunday. Now, that's, that could be highly offensive to a lot of the people that, you know, uh, uh, are attending church and really think that, well, that's absurd to think that all these 101 lies are being told. But I, uh, I was willing to watch his videos. And in fact, I watched all 101 of the videos. Uh, each video is short, though. It's like two to three minutes the most. And if you were to judge his video just by the title of each of these videos, you'd probably be screaming, heretic, heretic, just because of the title of the video. <laughs> a lot of the, a lot of the titles of his videos were like, concerned me, but once I listened to the video, I can see that, uh, the point he was making was completely valid. It was, I, I agreed with him entirely on this point. Uh, and it was kind of a, the, the title was a way of like being, um, making, making a point, being extreme to, to, to make a point, uh, hyperbole, I guess we would call it. Uh, so I watched 101 of his videos on these lies told the church. I found two of the 101 videos where I had an issue, but it was a, a minor issue. First of all, the whole I, the whole subject of the video was a minor subject, and, and then the fact that uh, even even though I the particular way that I disagreed with this point was really a minor point of disagreement. So um, I, I also looked at um, uh, let me see. Uh, he also made another video about hell that I, I watched, it was, uh, he has a totally different viewpoint on hell than I've heard and, and I didn't agree with it, but then a lot of people wouldn't agree with my viewpoint on hell. Um, I, uh, he made a video about um, faith of Christ rather than faith in Christ and I made an answer video to that, disagreeing with him. But his point on the faith of Christ is is not something for me to, be angry with him or call him a heretic or, 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 you know, as I say, nitpick, and point the finger at him. Uh, that, that this, these people who believe this, the faith of Christ in the way that he believes it, uh, are, are quite common. Uh, just about every KJV onlyist believes that. Uh, all of the hyper dispensationalists believe in that version of the, the verse, uh, the faith of Christ. So, uh, am I going to call all those people heretics on that basis just because I don't think that the faith of Christ and the faith in Christ or uh, those terms I see that differently than they do? Um, no, that's, that's becoming an extremist. It's, it's really going too far. Uh, why can't we, who have received all this grace from God, why can't we be gracious to other believers? Why do we have to be so quick to put them under the microscope, try to find some fault, and then label them as a heretic or a false teacher? So my conclusion on Stephen McVeigh after watching uh, many of his videos is that he's an excellent teacher. I, I like him very much. I haven't found any fault in him that is serious enough for me to, to you know, uh, you know, unsubscribe him or block him or call him names. But this is an example. Uh, there's many, many more examples that could, that, that could be cited where it just seems that some of the, the saints here on YouTube that I know, um, they're, they're very knowledgeable, but they do not even consider the possibility that, well, perhaps they're wrong. Uh, and that's why that last video I made pertains to this. It's the ego, the egotism that thinks that 
they, they're absolutely right and the other person must be absolutely wrong. And then the judgmentalism is that, that well, uh, I, I know I'm right and they're wrong and I, I'm making this judgment that they're in error and it's a false teaching and they're a heretic. And then the dogmatism means that they even go so far that now we unsub them and we block them and we label them as a, as a heretic. We, we're just going way too far with this. Um, now, there are some doctrines that I will do that. There are some doctrines that are so important that I would say that, hey, you've got to get these doctrines right. These are so essential. And that is that Jesus is eternal God Almighty. Salvation is a free gift. No works are required. We receive it by faith alone in Christ alone. And once we receive salvation, it's irrevocable. We cannot lose it for any reason. So these are the core doctrines that I think are worth really standing up for and dividing over. If we can't, if we, you can't agree with those doctrines, then I would have to say, yeah, I'm going to unsubscribe and block you and I'm going to preach against you because these doctrines are essential to Christianity. But there are so many other things that people are getting to taking way too seriously. Now, I want to get all parts of theology correct. Just as you say, well, it's important to, to get it right. It is. But I'm not so confident in myself that I think I have it all right. And I certainly am not confident in you. Whoever's watching now, I don't have confidence in you that you're uh, always right, that you are infallible. So um, I I don't want to be guilty of what I'm I'm um, ask, pointing out in, in you right now. Uh, and that is going too far. Uh, yeah, you you're, don't be a nitpicker. Don't seek out to find fault in people. And, 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 and then purposely just find any excuse you can, it seems, to label them and then unsub them and even shun them. So I hope that's something for you to think about. So please make a comment and uh, bless you all in the uh, love and grace of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.